In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make the parting line, the parting surface, and these ruled surfaces for the part as shown here. So first, I'm going to control tab back to just the part. I want to make a corn cavity so I can injection mold this part. One of my first steps is to create the parting line. So I'm going to tell it to create a parting line. I'm also going to tell it that the direction of pull for this part is the front plane. I want to use one degree of draft, and I'm going to do the draft analysis. So SolidWorks was able to find all the edges for me. I'm going to tell it that I'm using this for a core and cavity split. And it also gives me this little message that I probably need to create shutoff surfaces to be successful. And that's because I have the opening here. And we'll do that next. So I'll say OK. Our parting line can be seen in blue around the part. So this is our first part where we don't have just a nice planar parting line. And next, I want to create some shutoff surfaces. So I'm going to activate that. It's going to analyze the part. And it's found two loops. Sometimes this will happen. That's not a problem. This redundant loop, I'm just going to rotate around and zoom in on it. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to right click on the loop and I'm going to tell it to deselect the loop. The loop goes away and then it's, SolidWorks tells me it is now separable into core and cavity. So I'm going to say OK. I'll go back to the isometric view. And now we can create our parting surface. So I'm going to do that next. I'll select parting surface. I want to make that surface perpendicular to the pole. I'm going to make it size an inch and a half out from the part, and I'll leave the sharp corner smoothing on. It's going to knit all these surfaces together. The preview looks good, so I'll say OK. I'm just going to fit this geometry to the screen. And typically, when we create a corn cavity, we don't just have two flat faces coming together. We tend to create an interlocking surface so the corn cavity don't shift when the mold comes together. And to do that for this part, we're going to need to first create a ruled surface. So next, I want to tell I'm going to create a ruled surface. And I'm going to select all of these outside edges. I'm just going to rotate around a bit, make it easier to select and see. And I'm going to set up the ruled surface. I want it tapered to the vector. Its length is going to be 1.5 inches. I'm going to add 3 degree of taper. And that 3 degrees will be relative to the front plane. So now I can go ahead and I can select all my edges. So I'm going to zoom in and work my way around. I'm going to select these edges. I want to flip the direction of that. I'm not going to select these circular edges or this edge. I'm going to keep working my way around the part. Selecting edges. So I'm only selecting edges that are parallel to the front plane. So I'm going to have to keep zooming in and out and rotating around. And again, I don't want to select these curve edges. We'll deal with them in a minute. So I've created my ruled surface. I'm going to right click to accept it and I just want to rotate around. Make sure I didn't miss any edges. Looks good. I'll go back to the isometric view and in the next video we'll continue from there.